Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Undermine. We are here once again, but this time with the Royals update that has added a ton of new content, including a new floor called the Contested Bog, uh, the Plunder King, which seems to be some sort of new boss, um, the Wandering Minstrel, which is the new NPC, the ability to input seeds, boss tracking, poisons being made into an official element, there's a bunch of new items and enemies, and a whole host of new stuff for us to dive into. I have been wanting to get back into this game for a while now and been waiting for this update to come out, so I'm finally here, happy that it's dropped, and let's jump on in to some Undermine, shall we? If you guys remember, any of you that have watched my previous series, I tons of episodes on undermine um so if you haven't seen any of them you can go and check those out uh, if you wish to try and kind of catch up to where we were but when the 1.0 update came out we did two things for one i made a tutorial of the game of basically starting out the beginners tutorial so if you, any of you here are new to undermine and want to get a good head start on starting the game i do have a tutorial and i'll make sure that's linked in the description also we started a new save file so we are uh, we are still missing quite a few items but what i did do is off camera um between the last series on the 1.0 update and this update the royals update i went and bought pretty much all of the upgrades i've cleared out this shop i've almost got all the bombs i've got all the pets that i've found thus far at least and most of the blessings we're still missing one pet by the looks of things uh, and in fact let's switch over to another pet when we jump into this run shower let's go with nico i love nico um, my little monkey dude. He'll be fun to uh, to play around with. And also, I went over to uh, Lilith, our lamb here, and I learned most of the blessings, apart from these two that I just, to be honest, don't really need to learn. Um, but the rest of them we, we ended up learning, and we did also get Fortitude. So we're starting off with the Golden Powder Bombs and Fortitude, which is what we ended off the last uh, series with. But yes, I'm really excited to jump back into this game. I hope all of you are uh, excited to get into it as well. And another thing, um, with tradition on this series, we do indeed name our uh, peasant each episode after subscribers or commenters so please do leave a comment below anything at all if you want to be um, named in the next episode this one is currently just a random peasant's name but in the uh, following episode and any future ones I will try to pick out comments so please do leave any comments you want about the series whether it's just saying you want to be featured or any comments you have about myself or the game and uh, I will try to make sure that you get featured in each episode that would be really cool of you guys to uh, get involved with that but let's jump on down normally we do a lot of other mine runs they tend to be a little faster but here we're going to jump into a regular run we're on summoning stone four i don't know how well we'll do but hopefully we make it to the next floor i don't actually know where the new floor resides i think it's the new last floor but maybe not maybe the golden uh, car uh, the golden um core still is uh we didn't fortunately get craftsmanship which is probably the worst blessing in the game um i did opt i'm gonna bomb this because we need we need to do this uh, i did opt for unlocking it normally i keep it locked because it's relatively bad but i opted for unlocking it just for the sake of um i don't know i want to kind of get everything unlocked uh but this guy we can uh, travel to different regions using his maps pretty interesting of course we haven't actually unlocked the new floors uh, tra fast travel map yet otherwise i'd probably fast travel straight there and see what it's all about but i've seen a few videos retromation started his series just before the christmas holidays Ooh, new enemies already um interesting got some new enemies here already very cool by the way you might be wondering why i'm absolutely destroying uh things it's because um we're on summoning stone four and i have fully upgraded gear so ooh. Damn. <laughs> I am going to uh, be relatively stomping through these first floors at least. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited to be back on this game. It's been a long time since I've played it. Whoa. He's got a bomb on his back. He's got a bomb on his back. Be careful. We'll try to pick up as much gold as we can here. Of course, little old pilfers doing their thing. Jumping in, trying to ruin our day and steal our gold. The cute, cuddly little fellas that they are. Oh, I love them. I love them. Um, but we're not going to worry about it too much. A bit of gold stolen here and there isn't a huge problem. It isn't a huge problem at all. Uh, next one we get, though, we're going to chuck up on this wall here. As you can see, if there's an explosion in a room, it causes some sparkles. Whoa, these enemies are cool. It causes some sparkles, and um, they kind of reveal to you where secret rooms are. Whoa, I love the noise it makes when you hit one of these guys. There's like a little squishy sound. 
I really like that. <laughs> That's really cool. Can't quite get that uh, gold on there, unfortunately. Let's see what our first item is. Uh, <laughs> one of the old classics. Good old Bramble Vest. Ah, yes. I remember you. Uh, we're going to go for some savagery here. And we're taking on Lose More Gold on Death. That's not too bad. Uh, for those of you that don't understand some of the systems that we're seeing here, like the relics and shrines, I very heavily uh, advise you... Are these new rats? I think they are. Uh, I very heavily advise you to go and check out um, my tutorial that I mentioned earlier at the start of the episode. That will cover a lot of the basics, such as these shrines and different things that you can find along your adventures. Um, like I said, I do also have many other series covering this game. Um, I think I've done like four series on this game now. Basically, every major update has gotten its own uh, little series that has normally around 10 to 30 episodes. Um, and yeah, I, I cover a lot. Unfortunately, we didn't get a bomb on that last floor, but that's not a, a huge issue. We did start with two keys here, so we can go straight to our item room, lovely. And we get Keyblade! Awesome! Absolutely awesome! One of the most powerful weapons... I say weapons. One of the most powerful items that you can get in the game. Whoa. Okay, so poison's definitely changed, as you can see. As the, as the game suggested, poison is an... Um, an element of its own. Now, we can kind of kill this guy by making him run off there. <laughs> Stupid Bobo. Oh, it's good to be back, people. It's good to be back. My God, it's been a long time since I've played this game. But I am very happy to be back. Um, We don't have that much gold, so we do have to be careful about what we're spending. Um, I'm going to try and keep my spending to a minimum, or at least to the essentials. Um, Which I think we did a pretty good job of there. We do have a curse chest here. I'm relatively inclined to take that, to be honest. Uh, do you know what? I think we will. Ooh, one very good thing here as well is, of course, we do currently have um, golden bombs, which means that our bombs can yield us a lot and a lot of money, so having more of them is even better. Um, okay, so locks are... Um, cost health now instead, which is actually kind of good. Uh, we'll hop down here, see what we uh, have down here. These are just random secret rooms that we can find. we got another one. Do you know what? I'll open it. What the hell? Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> one of the worst curses in the game. Good to see it. Uh, for every kill that we get, it lowers our maximum HP by one. Even when we remove the curse, all the health lost is gone forever. So that's um, not the best. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time with that, especially considering some of these enemies we can't avoid killing. Of course, we could try and get them to jump into traps and all sorts of things like that, but I'm not going to try and cheat the system. We're just going to make our way through rooms. Ooh, I took a little bit of damage there. Ooh, a little bit of gold hiding behind the mini-map there, I see. But yeah, if we see some rooms that have a, a large amount of rocks, we should take advantage of that and um, blow them up for money. So we'll get a lot from it. It's a very... Golden bombs are a very, very good way of making a lot of money quickly, in my opinion. Uh, we do also have this, by the way. Transmute a carried relic. So if there's anything that we the, that we have that we really don't like, we, we can transmute it. And I'm actually, honestly, very inclined to do that straight away, you know. Um, let's, uh, let's do that now. Um, and we'll transmute our Bramble Vest, because Bramble Vest isn't that good. And we get Demon Ring, which is a uh, percent damage up. Ooh, what is this? This is new. Pay tribute. Tribute paid. Okay, so unfortunately we don't really have much that we can pay tribute here, but I'll pay what I I'll pay what I can. Interesting. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's what we need to um that's what we need to do in order to uh unlock the new floor. I would imagine so, at least. Um, and it looks like we'll probably be waiting quite, quite some time. Um, ooh, look at that. Oh. Uh, we'll probably be waiting quite some time to unlock that, maybe, then. Because that's... Uh, I don't know how much tribute it's going to cost us, but we are not using that much here. Okay, so one thing I was just checking there is I noticed there's a new effect here, like an explosion, but unfortunately, it's only visual. It's not, uh, it's not an actual explosion, which is a, a slight bit of a shame, but I can kind of understand it. Sequence Breaker is a pretty good item already, so... I'm not going to blame him, but this is the sort of room we want to see. These are the rooms that we want to see. Because we get a lot of gold from rooms like this. 
Also, we're getting food out of it as well, which is rather nice. We've got a lot of bombs here, so I'm, I'm willing to use a few more than normal. Okay, we managed to destroy one of the uh, the blades, but unfortunately not the other. Oh, just look at all the beautiful gold. Ow, I'm getting hit a lot by that fucking saw blade. Nice. That's a pretty good haul for a room. We used most of our bombs there, but I think it was for a good cause. For a good cause. Let's take out these nests real quick. Of course, as you can see, we're doing insane damage to enemies right now, so we don't really need to worry about that. What we do need to worry about is getting rid of this curse. Getting rid of this uh, poisonous mushroom is uh, of the utmost importance right now. There's a few different ways that we can do that, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to take a little look around. We'll uh, take the symbol chest. I wonder... Um, consume a future curse after praying. Yeah, we'll take that. Arrow's really good. Um, I'm wondering... If... Uh, the tribute thing is only going to be available on that first floor. Because if so, what I'll do is, between this episode and the next... Do you know what? We'll do that. Okay, okay, capture spear there. What I'll do is between this episode and the next, I will go off and do some um, do some gold farming. And I'll come back to you when the floor's unlocked, if that's possible. It might not be. That might not be the way that this works. I'll, I'll maybe go and do a little research after this episode if we don't manage to get to the floor. And see just how much uh, tribute it does cost to get to the bog. Because it might, it might be a small amount. It might be a, a proportion of the amount of gold you held when the update came out. I'm not exactly sure, so. Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs left anymore. Because we did just use them all. Okay, that was a very nice, uh, a very nice little bomb, bomb rat there. They're, they seem to be a little more common than they used to be. Never used to see those, really. Never used to see them, but it's nice to see them here. Uh, we definitely need to go in here and remove a curse. We've already lost 50 maximum HP, so I very much want to do this. Please get rid of the right one. That's all, honestly a decent one to get rid of, but... It's not the best. So now what we need to do is we need to go and pray really quickly, because it'll remove another curse. Uh, because of error. So the, the sooner that we can pray, the better. Okay. So we kind of want to be speeding along here. I know I'm spending time collecting gold, but it's all it's all necessary. Oh, we are taking some damage. Nico just leveled up, which is great for us. Did indeed give us a bit of a uh, cooked steak there. Oop, I forgot that I have sequence breaker. Don't throw your pickaxe too quickly when you have sequence breaker. Not a good idea. Okay. Keep moving forward. We do have a boss here. We're a little bit low on HP, to be honest. We could definitely do with uh, fixing that. Oh, God damn. We're at minus 60 HP. Poison Mushroom, why? Why did you curse me, sir? We did get some bomb damage there. Okay, good. Hop in here, see what's available. Ooh, we have this. This is very nice. Um, we don't have enough for it. Damn. <laughs> I will definitely buy that, though. That's very, very valuable to us. An upgrade to our default shop. I think that's the last upgrade as well, actually. Which means that we can get relics from Dibble now. From Dibble's shop, which is awesome. Uh, that's really good. I very much like the large ember. Um, ooh, it seems to have a new visual effect as well. I'm liking some of these visual upgrades and changes. Very nice to see. Okay, we are using our thrown pickaxe a little more than normal here, but I think it's a worthwhile usage. Okay, we got two kills there, which helps our sphere, but also, obviously, very nice for our um, damage as well. And gold income. Right. Oh, cash removal here. Oh, very nice to see, but we can't really do anything with it. What we need right now is more bombs. If we can get some more bombs, we're in a good place. We need 800 smackaroons. Can't believe we're at almost minus 100 health here. That's too much. That's far too much. 
Looks like we're going to have to go and fight the boss. Um, in fact, we, we, we might not actually have the boss to fight. Because we fought it on the last episode, I do believe. So we might have uh, we have a situation where the boss isn't currently here. We'll find out. Uh, it is here. Okay. We do have the boss to fight. We could have skipped it, but we didn't uh, get the chance. That's okay, though. Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs, which is a very, very good way of beating this guy. But I think with our current swing damage, we should be fine. And as obviously, we've got Nico as well. Uh, Nico increases our damage by quite a bit. As you can see here, we are absolutely destroying this. But for a new update, I wanted to go on a slightly easier difficulty anyways. So I'm, I'm relatively happy with how this is going. Good, good, good. We got her. Cell is down. And we'll get a nice chunk of change here. And from this, we should go and definitely buy that cash removal. Oh, this has been a pr pretty difficult, uh, pretty difficult run so far. I mean, I did definitely artificially give myself this difficulty by taking that, uh, that little cash chest that we saw there. But, yeah, I like to take some risks. Great. I got rid of the... Got rid of the wrong thing. Um, this is bad. Um, do you know what? Bad idea. I know, but I'm going to do it. Let's just take this. Be on our way. I did that. I really should have bought the bombs first to get some money back. Um, I did that for good reasoning. Um, what we've done there is... Um, Dealt some damage to ourselves and had to spend all of our money, but the curse is finally gone. Unfortunately, that 74 health will not be regained upon removing the curse, which is why it is so bad. Uh, but, eh, you win some, you lose some. Hey, her. That's the way this game goes sometimes. This game, as I've said many times in the past when I've played this, has one of the best blessing curse systems, like best risk reward systems that I've ever seen in a roguelike. So I'm 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 more than happy to uh, have taken that risk and it not paid off for me because that's one of the beautiful things about this game and one of the things that I, I, I truly do love about it. Um, if it didn't have that, it wouldn't be as good as the game as it is. So even though it's annoying to lose that much HP and lose it permanently, that's what I signed up for. It's one of the risks that I that I incurred. Okay, let's keep moving forward. We do have our pedestal here, which does mean we could get a good item. As you can see, by the way, the Ember is doing really, really good damage right now. Really good damage. So let's just go over there. Damn it. Apparently, you cannot... Um, you cannot travel across gaps with your pickaxe after the fact of falling. <laughs> Did not know that. Meal ticket... Uh, I don't think we've got anything we want to swap for meal ticket here, so that's fine. Um, do we have another one of these shops? Holy hell. These guys do take less damage from the throws. We do have to be careful about that. Of course, we immediately take some more damage off him. Nice. And here we start getting the big bucks. This is where we start getting a lot of money. We, we really need to um, get a bomb here. A bomb would be really, really useful for us. Um, Ursa Major, that's really, really good. Ursa Major, whenever we eat, it gives us maximum HP. That should hopefully alleviate some of the troubles that we uh, that we found the, the poison mushroom tacked onto us. Should alleviate some of that, at least. Yay. Right, we need a bomb. Okay, there's a bomb indeed. Right, let me go and have a little look-see at a few things here. Do we have any rooms with a lot and a lot of rocks in them? Because if we do, we could do something here to make quite a lot of money. But we need a room with a lot of rocks. And I just don't think we have that. No, we don't. Unfortunately, what I was going to do is I was going to buy two bombs, then buy the bomb doubler to double it to four, and then blow up all the rocks, and it would make us more money than we spent. But I don't think because of the amount of rocks that's going to actually be the case. So we've got another one of these in a row, and I don't think we can afford it. Oh, no, we can. Silver Star Membership. I don't know what that is. I, I think I think that's new. Is there a way for me to tell? Um, let's have a little look-see, shall we? Items. Can we go and take a look at that membership? 
I don't know if we can. Relics, potions, blessings, curses, hexes, artifacts. It's not in artifacts. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what that would fall under then. I'm not 100% sure what that would fall under. Interesting. We'll see. We might get something out of that. I, I, I'm going to spend some damage here to go to this room. Oh, we already opened it anyways, I think. Uh, right. Let's go with more savagery. More critical hit chance, in my opinion, is always good. And we do get the Aura Blessing from that, which is very valuable. Um, the Aura Blessing, of course, meaning the next um, shrine that we use, as long as it's within the time limit, just doesn't give us a curse, which is very, very useful. Good, good. Crack this open as well. And in this shop, we do have... Holy Glaze. We have double Holy Glaze, which is very, very good. Um, I think we buy a Holy Glaze and use it. And then we grab another Holy Glaze in a moment for later. I think that'll be really useful for us. So let's hope we can get... Basically, what we're hoping for right now is bombs more than anything. Because bombs are what give us our large income. Like... It's how we get how we're getting a lot of our income right now. We find a bomb, we find some rocks, we bomb them, and it gives us an absolutely huge amount of gold in sort of one lump sum here. So that's kind of what we're looking to do here. Wow, that guy just walked right off that cliff. He saw me and he just absolutely nerped out. Didn't care for it whatsoever. And then he saw my face and knew he wanted to die. It's a sad, sad truth. Okay, that uh, little thing there just got rid of both of those enemies for us. Nice. Okay, good room. Ooh, that, them guys are really good at hitting me. <laughs> As you can see, though, we are doing so much damage right now. Having a great time. Get a bit of extra maximum HP here. You are going to steal a bit of my gold, but to be honest, I don't mind. I'll let you have it. Hmm, okay. I will do this a little bit here because it's not really what I need. Oh my god, okay. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Sometimes they work out. Sometimes they don't. We might have to go to the shop and buy some resources uh, rather than the next Holy Glaze. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that we could kind of get on that Holy Glaze life. I'm going to wait for this to puff out. Before I get this. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Good, good. You might be noticing as well we're getting a bit less than last time. That's because we have poverty right now, which is unfortunate. Does mean we get 10% less gold from all sources. Little bit of a shame, but it's also not that detrimental to the run as a whole. So we can, we can keep our distance from having to remove that and feel relatively fine about that. So, uh, Right, so uh, what do we want to do here? I think we want to go for this. So that's going to heal us up a bunch. We'll buy a key, and we can't buy Holy Glaze. It's okay. I forgive myself. <laughs> I could be looking for secret rooms here, but I don't think we have enough bombs to make it viable. I prefer to keep my bombs at, at like a minimum level of like three before I start using them for secret rooms and combat. Uh, and we're not even at that yet, so I'd prefer not to right now, unless there is an abundance of rocks and we have golden bombs. Um, do you know what? Let's go for the relic instead of the shrine. Even though this will be free and get rid of a curse, I'm, I'm more inclined to go for this. And we are getting all the star signs right now. That is great. Um, ex enemies exploding arrows after a critical strike. What a great item to get for us here. All right, let's jump on down to the next floor. So far, so good. We've got, uh, of course, good damage. This is going to be kind of a breeze or a run for the most part because we're on a lower summoning stone. But I do think that this is a good sort of run to feel out the new update and see what content we can see. Um, of course, I've been playing this game a lot. I've got like probably like 200 hours in the, this game. I can't remember exactly how many I've got. I've got a lot though. Um, so I know it relatively well. Um, and I 
I've gotten quite used to the normal runs. I prefer the other mine runs a lot more because they're a lot shorter and kind of more concise. Um, but I do enjoy from time to time hopping back into the normal undermine and having a run here because it's just... These runs are fun. They just tend to be a lot longer out. And I expect with a new floor this to be over an hour for an episode. So we'll we'll, we'll see how, how long this ends up going. And that's where upping the summoning stone levels and difficulty really piles onto this game. Because we end up getting um, some really insanely long runs when we travel to every single floor. I'm wondering actually, there's a possibility that the new floor might actually be an alt floor. I can't confirm or deny that. I don't actually know. But it would it would make sense to me if they decided to do an alt floor. They haven't had alt floors yet in this game. But that would be a, an interesting way of adding a new floor considering the amount they have already. Or maybe they're just looking to have the, the main path. Very nice. Maybe they're just looking to have the main path be very, very... Um, long and have it have it as a, as a long arduous journey which is kind of good i do i do also like that both work uh, unfortunately we can't open that we're really really hurting for keys right now keys are our, our main our main source of problems which is a shame really because we are missing out on relics and such but we'll carry on down and see what we get here we do have the doom blade gain swing damage for each carried curse or get a free item at every shop let's take the doom blade see what we end up getting here um Arrow just saved us a major curse. I did not know Arrow worked on major curses. Very good to know. I was wondering what the hell happened there, and I just thought Arrow throw out a curse. Uh, but yeah, so now we are going to gain damage based on the amount of curses we carry. We're currently getting plus 20 damage. Not a significant amount, but enough to, enough to make some enemies a little easier to one hit. And also it does all, uh, kind of mean that we don't have to worry as much about stacking up our curses because we are gaining a benefit from them. We do have some gargoyles here. These are enemies that can definitely be problematic for me. So I will try and take those out. Ooh, we got a new recipe. The duplicator. Nice. But yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing with this series is Thorium, which is used for unlocking new blue, blue, blueprints and gold for these like tribute things and other things. I'll probably do some off camera farming or maybe do it on stream uh, as it can be a little tedious to get some of these upgrades and it can take quite a long time to unlock some of these things. Uh, so sometimes it is going to be a better option for you guys and me just for the enjoyment of us both to do some of that off camera. Um, and just stick some tunes on while I uh, gather up a bunch of gold. I've done that a few times in the past, and it is worked out. What the hell's that thing? What the hell's that thing? What is it? It's so fat. What the hell was that chunky bugger? <laughs> I've never seen that before in my life. I need to check what the hell that was. Bestiary. Oh, greedy pilfer. Greedy pilfers are not content with a single nugget of gold. They need it all, and they need it now. These hefty creatures will elbow their way through a crowd until every last nugget of gold is collected of cost. That's just a saying. They don't actually have elbows. So essentially, I'm assuming the the way that they work, by the way, need a bunch of keys again. Uh, I'm assuming the way that they work is that they have um, the ability to knock you out the way, but they will collect all the gold in the room rather than just one nugget. That's, that sounds interesting. I like the idea of those. Okay, Nico's up to level three now, which means that he has uh, gained the ability to crit and gained the ability to um, deal damage to all enemies, which is very good. But yeah, I actually think we're going to have a, yet another floor where we get no relics here because we just have zero keys, which is just honestly a massive shame. We're just not getting any key drops from anywhere, which is oh, honestly horrible. Because <laughs> with, with, honestly, in this game, without keys, you can basically not do anything. <laughs> and we are just getting uh, very unlucky. We're missing out on all the key drops. And it's creating some serious problems for us. But, hey her, that's the way it goes sometimes. With this game, this game giveth and this game taketh away. So let's jump down and fight the boss. Hello, my stern golem. How are you today? Charge golem with uh, with the items we have should be relatively easy. Nico's going to do a good job against him. Our damage is pretty hefty, so I'd imagine... That we're going to do pretty good. And we're going to be dealing pretty high passive damage with our um, Ember. Because we're going to be hitting a lot of these orbs. And every time you break an orb, it does quite a lot of damage to this dude. Okay, he is, he is rotating them now.
It does seem that they've updated the way this guy lands his fists down the ground to do a bit more of a bigger blast radius than they used to. At least it looks that way. Look at the way Nico just bashes the shit out of these orbs. Nice, we got him. Not a hard fight at all for us. Good, good, good. Crack that open. Nice chunk of change. We're heading down to the next floor. We're doing okay, but yeah, honestly, I'm getting really bummed out that we're getting no keys. <laughs> it's very upsetting, because we're just missing out on so many new relics. So many new relics. Maybe we should have bought more early. <gasps> to be fair, it's been a while since I played this game. I normally do buy keys whenever they're available at like literally every given opportunity because they are relatively rare. Okay, food there. That could be poison. So that's a new visual effect as well from this uh, Curse here, Plague. Um, uncooked food has the chance to uh, poison and is also less effective anyways. So we're not gonna we're not gonna eat that just in case. Having the chance to poison essentially means that we'll lose health on that. Okay, I'm getting really screwed over right now by um, the bloody thrown pickaxe thing. Oh, we need some healing pretty bad, and we need some keys pretty bad. Please, game, give us keys. <laughs> It's weird, some some runs you, they just drop like candy. Other runs you just don't see them ever. I love this arrow thing. We are taking quite a lot of damage here. Quite a lot of damage. Would behoove us to get some healing. I love the new oil uh, visuals as well. Nothing, nothing. A lot of the time where you get your... Um, your keys from is destroying pots. That's kind of one of the big methods. And we're just not, that's just not working out for us. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay, finally an unlocked shop. We have the chance to spend some money. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to pop it. Gives us a bunch of keys. What the hell's this potion? Some of the doppelganger to work alongside you. That sounds awesome. I want that so bad. Okay. Uh, that sounds so cool. I'm going to use that for the boss, most likely. Um, nope. We do have six keys now, so we can basically open whatever we like for a little while, which is awesome. But that's, that's what I mean by with the shops. You've got to find ways like those popcorn potions to duplicate things. Unfortunately, increase throw size doesn't really do anything for us. Bit bit of a shame there. Not to worry. We can push forward. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got another locked room. Um, is indeed what I was thinking in a shrine. I'll definitely take that shrine. Increasing food effectiveness with heartiness could be really nice here. So that's something I'm kind of looking for. Heartiness. Exuberance is pretty good. Let's take exuberance, shall we? Nice. Good, good, good. And we do indeed have our next floor right here. Well, next section of this floor. And we jump down once more. Hopefully we can get some bombs and start really gathering that gold. We should hopefully get something here. Yeah, we did. We got one of them. I accidentally hit that food, but luckily it did heal us. Our health is very low right now, so I am, I am wanting to eat the food as much as possible. But yeah, the jumping and swinging tactic that I'm doing right now is definitely the best way to stay alive and stay unhit in this game. I kind of hit, swipe, and then jump if I look like I'm in danger. God damn, these arrows. Doing work for us. It's brilliant. Um, we did indeed get the other mine conduit. I really like that as well. Uh, we're going to have a hand that pops up every now and again and helps fight for us. Ah, oh, I finally got poisoned by one of them. You actually do heal for more even when you get poisoned. You just don't want to get poisoned in combat. Um, lava boots, they're really, really useful for future floors. So I'll take them. Uh, lava walker, should I say. When we jump, we leave some splashes of fire. Um, is there anything else we really want here? Let's just buy the keys and be on our way. Kind of costly. A little bit, little bit pricey. But I think it's worth taking nonetheless. 
There you go. You can see the arm coming out there and hurting things for us. Does pretty good damage as well. I think it scales of our swing damage. And our swing damage is relatively high right now, especially considering Doomblade is upping that somewhat. Ooh, I forgot about big old Burbo. He does a lot of damage. Nice. I will indeed destroy this. We do get some gold for that as well. It was very worthwhile. Very worthwhile indeed. And we got a key. Okay, this was incredibly worthwhile. Holy jeebus. I could not be more happy with that room. Assassin, want to be killing him straight away. We did indeed do that. Oh. Good, good. Another pot. That's a really cool visual effect on the fish there. Considering the poison now and only does three ticks of four damage, I'm way more open to the idea of biting into the food. It's not really that much damage for us. Really what we need right now is more throw distance to make the uh, throw and teleport a little more appealing. Right now it's not actually that useful. Nice. Ooh, we even cooked the food. Okay, so when we cook the food, it unpoisons it as well. Even better. So we always want to... To be fair, that completely removes any problems we have. Because we can... Pilfer, you pushed it into me. I was going to say we can cook food by jumping. But no. The Pilfer was like, no, you eat that dirty food. You eat that poisonous food right now and push me right into it. You little... Uh, you little guy. You little cuddly fella. You think you're so cute that you can get away with anything just because you're cute. Unlikely, sir. Unlikely. I wonder if we'll come across any of the uh, new bosses or NPCs outside of the new floor. I don't exactly know where they reside. But yeah, now we should be able to do this look. Hey, that's perfect. Oh, we got a hoarding pilfer. These have a new visual effect as well on them, which is very cool. Okay, we killed it. As you can see, that gives us quite a lot of gold and a blessing. Very worthwhile focusing our time on. With the uh, extra damage from the burn, they die very quickly. Because they don't actually have a health amount. They have an amount of hits to kill them. So we can actually kill them really fast by taking fire damage on them with our uh, large ember that we have. Killed it very quickly. Uh, ooh, the reflector mirror. Very good for the upcoming next boss. We can reflect projectiles back at enemies. Also works very well against the skeletons. Um, very happy to have that. Um... Hmm. I think I'll take this. Good, good. We got that. Um, Let's do this. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Um, Yeah, we'll stick with just that for now. We're not going to spend too much more gold here. I don't, I don't want to be throwing it all away. We might need some of it for desperate times. If we really need healing or something. I'd rather have the opportunity. But yeah, now we have um, spare ordnance. We're going to be getting extra bombs in every chest we find. Now, I know that so far this run we've opened very few chests. But they can they can sometimes be like four or five on a single floor. Which makes them a lot more appealing. Okay, good. You're taken care of. Let's take care of this guy before he destroys too many rocks. Ow. Nice. Take care of all these enemies before we start playing with the rocks. Nice. One of the really cool things that you can do with golden bombs is in a room like this, get a ton of gold, then find a gold duplication potion and just duplicate it all. Leads to some pretty crazy shit. I am taking a lot of damage to just the arrows that are constantly being flung at me by the pilfers. <laughs> Stepping on all the buttons. Little bit of an issue. But don't worry, we shall prevail. I don't know if that gave us... It did give us 5 damage, nice. That used to be 10, but it got nerfed because it was insane. <laughs> 10 damage for every enemy killed. Even if they're just like rats. <laughs> it was a bit mental. As you can probably imagine. We've been sitting at 300 HP for quite a while now. Uh, let's see what we, got, what we got here. Ferocity. 
extra crit damage. We even negated the curse with arrow, which is kind of an anti-synergy with doom blade, but it also keeps our curses in check. It stops them from getting out of hand. So I appreciate it nonetheless. Ah, oh, we did just lose our um, big bonus from our food. Yeah, a bit of a shame, but we can build it back up quite easily nonetheless. We only lost about uh, 80 health from it, so not terrible. Oh, we do have a secret room here that we can uh, that we can see through the wall for some reason. I'm not sure why that's appeared on the map. Oh, we already opened it with a bomb. That's why. Hey, yo. Hey, remote detonator. Lovely. Some good stuff there. I took a risk. It was a pretty good risk. I'm happy I took it. We gained chance to lose a key when taking damage, which is pretty bad. <laughs> but we gained extra damage and we gained a lot of extra bombs. Wow. Um, for, for two bombs, I don't really think that's worth opening. Honestly. But yeah, not a, not a bad haul. Ow. That could stop happening. That would be great. Please stop, you little fucking pilfers. Oh, I love this. It's such a good way to get gold. We do indeed have a, a nice potion here that we can use... Having the bigger throw size is also really nice for picking up this gold before the pilfers get to it, so I'm not going to complain too much about that anymore. I was initially kind of annoyed about getting that, but kind of works out for us. Let's go. Let's go. This is a good run. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm happy to be back on this beautiful game. As I said, this is going to be a long run, though. I'm taking my time, but that does usually lead to longer runs on a... Uh, Undermined by quite a substantial amount. Good. Oh, what the hell are these little dudes? Goblin scavenger. He's planting mines. Oh, whoa. He's planting bombs. These little dudes are crazy cool. I love these things. Oh my God, that was awesome. That was so cool. <laughs> Honestly, I love that so much. Little bomb guys jumping out the floor everywhere. Holy hell. Gotta be really careful in rooms with these dudes. That's super cool. I love those enemies so much. That is very dope. I always like... I, 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 always, I always love to see the new enemies that they add to this game because they're always... So cool and have like such a strong theme to them and so the so m both visually and um, and mechanically different from one another. Uh, and it just it may makes for a really great game and they, they just they've done such a good job at designing the enemies in this game. I, I I really really love to see new ones, and the new ones that we've seen thus far all seem really interesting. All seem very interesting. I'm sure there's some uh, new floor-based ones that are unique to the uh, the new floor, that are redesigns of current enemies and possibly some new ones entirely. We'll, we'll see those soon, I'm sure. This is a pretty difficult room. There's a lot going on in here. A lot going on in here. We're definitely in, in deep need. What the hell did I get hit by then? My god. We're in some deep need of healing. I think we'll uh, we'll end up getting some of that from this shop here. Cooking food, unfortunately, does increase its cost, but it's needs must. So I'm gonna go for this anyways. Um. Hmm. I don't think we take any of that. I think we go down here. And have we been to our relic room? I don't think we have, actually, this floor. We should make that a priority. Uh, uh, also, I didn't even mention we got an item that makes our gold blow up when we hit the floor, which is really nice for hurting enemies and discovering secrets. Maybe we did see our relic room. I can't remember what we got. Oh, uh, it was the item that I was just speaking about, probably. Knowing me, probably. Right, let's try out this new potion. Not super necessary to use it on this boss here, but... I'm very interested too. 
Hello, Nori. Welcome. This is just okay. Stop trying to swing these back because it's just not working. Okay, he seems a little uh, useless if you place him in the wrong place, but if you place him in the right place, holy hell, that's good. Seems better if you use throwing. Oh, we can teleport him around. I took a lot of damage here, by the way. A lot, lot more than I should have done. <laughs> it seems that you can't light these with the boots anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it seems that you can't light these with the boots anymore. Oh, no, you can. You just got to be in a very particular place. Okay, you just got to be very careful. Basically, if the if the torches aren't lit, it removes 25% of the amount of damage he takes. So you, you to, to do full damage to him, you have to light them all. Extra bomb. Lots of gold. Holy hell, lots of gold. Right. Let's be very cautious because our health is, uh, it's waning. It's getting relatively low. But we're okay. Hey, see, this is ex exactly what I was just talking about. So good for just finding extra little secrets. Fortunately, that secret is trash, but <laughs> the rule still applies. Oh, the sequence breaker is messing me up so bad. I keep trying to throw before my pickaxe comes back to me and just yeeting myself into the enemy. Not good. We are uh, um, a dire loss of health here. We very much need a shop. Okay. We need a shop. We need a shop. Really, really bad. Guidance is pretty cool. And it gets rid of Sequence Breaker, so I'm very happy with that. That is kind of exactly what I wanted, because Sequence Breaker kept getting me hit. Please, one of these rocks drop us um, some food. So now we can bounce our... Uh, pickaxe between enemies, which isn't that good because we're not going to do our main damage with our throne, but it still helps. Right, let's cook some food. So I think we buy this, we drop it like here. Damn it! I picked it up before it was fully cooked! Nice. Um, do we want to level our blessings? Not really, no. Do we want to buy this? Yes, we do. Okay. Now we can go back over here. I don't think Arrow is active currently, so we will take a curse for this. But I'm going to say that it's probably worth it at the moment. Assassin, please stop. Okay, he, 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 he stopped living, so that works for me. Also, big bully boy. Stop throwing rocks at me. I don't like it. Hey, little shrine, how you doing? Um, yeah, ferocity. Suddenly, it's ferocity. do 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 Let's uh, keep a going. Jump on down to the next floor. Um, health is looking much better, but we are being bolstered a little bit by um, Ursa Major, so we do need to keep up that um, that food intake to keep that buffer going and keep our health as high as it currently is um, and higher, which this definitely helps with. Thank you much, Lee. Thank you much, Lee. Right, we got a care shop in here, I think. Uh, yes, a care shop. Um, honestly not really worth it is it we don't need a bomb right now 
Um, and we... Arrow get rid of one of the casts anyway, so it's not really helping Doomblade at all. Just all in all, not really worthwhile for us. Aha! I just realised there is a nest spewing out these things. That's why there's so many of them and so many different varieties. Damn it, I keep doing that. And of course, every poison tick has the chance to drop a key now as well. <laughs> really not, not what we want to see. <laughs> my, uh, my hand just bonked that guy into the death pit. Look at this little fat chunker. Look at him. I love him. Look at that fat chunker. That's such a cool new pilfer. I wasn't expecting to see any new pilfers, to be honest, so very, very uh, happy to see that. Okay, we've only got the poison guys left. Poison spiders are some of the worst to have around with other enemies, but on their own, they're really not that big of a threat because they act very similar to normal spiders. In fact, maybe exactly the same as normal spiders, so pretty easy to avoid generally. Hey, nice. Gordon's Tunic. I think that reduces elemental damage. It does indeed. And that now includes poison with the new update. That includes poison, which is great for us. Wow, you just killed all of the spiders in this room for me. Thank you dearly. Thank you dearly. <gasps> we found him! Hey! Hello there, stranger. My name is Tuss, a humble traveling bard. Would you like to hear my music? I'm quite the strum, the strummest. I'm also not as humble as I originally claimed. Let's give him 10,000. Why, thank you. I humbly accept your offering. Now prepare to have your ears blown off. I look forward to our next encounter. Oh, he gave me an item. I did give him a hell of a lot of gold there, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, if you de if he deems your tip generous enough, you may receive a reward. So that that's what the um, the description of him says. So we we definitely tipped generously enough. That's so cool. I love him. That was such a a wholesome little tune there. A wholesome little tune. I loved it. Right, let's keep traveling on. Down we go. We're making our way through the caverns. Aw, oh, little, little dude. I love Tuss. He's my favorite little dude. He is amazing and everywhere. Also, look how high our maximum HP is getting. We're at 260 from SM Major now. We've got to keep this going. Right, let's take you out before you make that spider into a tanky, tanky boy. These two need to go. There's a lot going on right now. And there's all the gold. Here it comes. All the gold and there's some fire as well, but we can walk on fire, so don't worry about the fire. I was panicking about it then, like, oh no, we got to make sure to stay away from the fire. And then I kind of realized, <laughs> wait a minute, wait just one second. I have lava boots. Don't be stupid. Hey, 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 you, you there. He's so cool. Also, he gave us a ton of gold, <laughs> so he's even cooler than before. That, we, we basically just, all of the stuff that we donated to Tuss, we just got back. We just got 10,000 back in, like, 0 0.0 seconds. Love to see it. Nice. Okay, this is going well. We have, we have sort of come back from the brink. I feel like if we lose our Ursa Major bonus, it's going to be a little less so, but I'm sure we'll lose it sometime soon. It's bound to happen. Take some exuberance. Ara blocked it as well. Noise. 
Okay, these little fairy bastards can be quite annoying. Whoa, look at all this crap going on. Ooh, damn. Take these guys out with the, the doubles. You can see our build's kind of coming into its own now. Unfortunately, no food yet. We'll, we'll see if we can buy some really quickly. I'm just going to buy this. I don't care if it poisons me. Just to keep that air some major buff going. Um, I'm going to take this because that's really good. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there. And we'll head to the next floor. We still have an item. And we have a black rabbit here as well. <gasps> very nice. Slightly lowers our damage, which I don't really care about. Massively increases our swing size, which I very much care about. Um, also, I will 100% take this. Very, very good. Thank you, thank you. I can't cook your food, unfortunately. Right, so what potions do we have? We still have the one that's going to get rid of uh, Chaos for us. Really don't think we'll end up using that all too much, but nice to have nonetheless. Right, let's keep pushing forward. This is the last floor of the caves. I love the reflection in the caves. Oh, yes. I'm so happy with our newfound swing distance. Yes, we finally got rid of the really annoying curse. Even though I, I did want it for the damage, but we finally got rid of it. Nice. Unfortunately, those rocks do not give us gold. Yeah, we don't have to cook our food now. Even though cooking our food is better, and definitely something we should be doing, we don't have to anymore. Also, we can now hold armor pieces, which is... Oh my god. <laughs> we need bombs. So bad. <laughs> we need bombs. So bad. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We need some bombs. A chest that gave us a chest? Awesome. Didn't mean to buy the key, but alright then, game. We'll, we'll just pretend that I did. Okay, we have six bombs. How much gold do you think we will yield from six bombs? By the way, I'm going to clear the rest of the floor before going down there and doing that, because we might find more bombs, as seen here. Um, we might also find a gold duping potion. Um, un un unlikely, but it's it's certainly a plausibility. I think we, we should hold out for that distinct possibility. Right. You two are really getting on my nerves, so please stop. Oh, here it is! We found the new floor! We found the new floor, people! Looks like the tribute didn't actually matter for going to the new floor, which I'm very pleasantly surprised about. Okay, if you could stop all shooting me. How am I getting hit so much? Lost all the gold there. Birthing pod is very good, but it's way too late. If those of you that don't know what birthing pod does, um, I'm going to do this because we'll get a bomb back. Uh, birthing pod gives us the ability to get um, a familiar, but it has to be healed up 500 to get it. Which means that we'd have to give up a lot of healing, and I don't think we can afford to do that. Oh, we lost our bonus. No. You gots to go, fella. You gots to go. Good, good. Right, we're on seven bombs. We do have our boss here. Along with... There's some strange patches there. Along with this. Oh! So I think that it is an alternate path. I like that a lot. We do have the choice to go between either or. I'm very happy about that. That is very, very good to see. Right, let's first of all grab this, this, and this. Shame that isn't um, golden popcorn. That'd be awesome. We're about to get some gold. We're about to get some gold, boys. Holy hell. We're about to get some gold. Gold. 
Especially if it gives us bombs back, which it just did. We make in bank. <laughs> yes. Come to me, my pretties. Sad thing is, unfortunately, the gold does blow up the rocks, which leaves less gold for us, but hey her, we're getting enough anyways. I don't think we can complain too much. That's the sort of gold income that I like to see. We just got ourselves about 40,000 off of seven bombs. <laughs> Ah, how beautiful was that? That was, that was just tasty. Ow. Hello? This pilfer does, uh, doesn't speak, but strongly indicates you should stop. Are you staring into the pilfer's eyes and your impression trying to tell you something? Indicates towards its head and its mouth and seems to fall in the way more. Keep referring to gold. Oh no, we do have to... Damn. Okay, it, it does look like we're going to have to give more gold before we can get in there. I have no idea how much, but I will, I will have to, I'll have to see. Either way, let's jump down into here and fight this big boy. Right, we've got huge swing distance now, which makes this fight a lot easier. And I mean a lot easier. Mainly because of this attack here. We can still hit him while he's doing this. Saves us a bunch of time. Oh, damn, he... He, he hit us there and, uh, what? I'm getting confused here. I think they changed that, because that never used to happen. He never used to be able to hit you with his head. Unless I'm just completely mistaken. Maybe I am, but... That seems new. Which is good. It's good to be able to add... Uh, or good of them to add in things to stop you from cheesing the fight. I appreciate that. Stops me from doing naughty things. Stopped me from doing naughty things. Okay, we got him. That last phase is always, always difficult, but we got him. Gold healing us right now from Golden Tooth is very nice. So it does look like there's there's just no way we're going to be able to go to this floor here. Uh, it seems that, yeah, the tribute that we found earlier is a requirement. I, I have no idea how much it's going to cost us. Um, but I think that's going to be pretty cool once we get there. Yeah. Okay. So it seems that we'll be able to get in there next run. We will tribute as much as we can and uh, head there next run. But for this run, we shall finish off the run in the um, the normal route over here. But as you can see, episodes run long on this game. Episodes run long if we don't go to the other mine. If we don't go to the other mine, they run very long because there's a lot of floors. I love this floor as well. This, this floor, probably my second favorite. I really, really like this one a lot. I think my first favorite is the previous one. Previous floor of the Crystal Caves is really, really cool. Ooh, no. Bombushka is good, but unfortunately, not my style. It's not my style. Nice. Good amount of healing. I did that because I knew that was going to give us a bomb back, so why not? We might as well get that as well, because that's going to give us a bomb back as well. Hey, oh, lots of healing there. Yeah, Gold Tooth is uh, an item that, especially later on, becomes very, very valuable. 
Okay, these enemies are invaluable with swing distance. Whoa, look at that Pilfiger! There's a chunky boy here as well. Yeah, swing distance is so nice for these Rift dudes. As I've said many times before, these these guys are essentially pinned from the Binding of Isaac that's actually aggressive and actually a threat. <laughs> imagine if Pin, uh, Pin, sorry, um, Larry Jr. was a threat. Just imagine that. Process that in your brain. Okay, we've, we've managed to remove a lot of our curses, which is not good because we are losing damage for this. But at the same time, it is good because we don't want all these curses, really, because they are kind of detrimental. Ooh, diversion. Uh, diversion this late is not, not that good for us, but I will take it. I'll definitely take that as well. Ooh, we'll take the key as well because we have lost quite a lot of keys here. We'll take both, in fact. Thank you, thank you. And we did indeed have a secret room over here, even though we just got our only bomb. Very much willing to go for this. Good, good. Sadly, it requires bombs. <laughs> or keys, which I really don't want to give up either. Bait these guys into firing the way you want them to. Or uh, get your big hand from the sky to knock them into the, the fiery pits below. That also works. Um, let's go with heartiness. And let's go with Toughness. Arrow helped us out there. Arrow with Diversion is such a good item combo. Two blessings for the, the price of one curse. Top-notch stuff. Top-notch stuff. And we are back in the driver's seat again with HP. We are in a very good place now, HP-wise. I'm much, much happier here. Much, much happier. Right, oh, these chunky pilfers, I love them. Look at these huge fellas and the cuddly little ears. I want one as a pet forever. I want one as a pet forever. Oh god, do not jump directly into those guys. These guys are just deceptive. Sometimes they just drive, pile drive, like their face is right into you. Other times they divert and just don't do anything. Actually, we do have their uh, guidance as well, which is really good with these guys. As you can see, though, they did a significant amount of damage to me there. <laughs> Very significant indeed. Okay, now guys, you didn't see a bombs. Luckily, this floor, obviously, very fire-based, but we have fire immunity with the lava boots. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Plus 100 damage. If we get hit, the damage, gone. Very likely to lose this very quickly, but if we don't, it does some spicy, spicy damage. Good, good, good. Bunch of max HP. Right, just try not to get hit, whatever we do. Because our damage is insane right now. Very difficult with certain enemies on this floor to not get hit, but I will try my best. Also, armor really helps with this. Because obviously armor doesn't count as getting hit. There's some armor lost. So we, we haven't lost our obsidian knife yet. But we almost have. But we almost have. Like I said, I don't think it's going to last long. I reckon we're going to lose it, like, in the next few rooms, honestly. Normally, I do. But if we get some armor, we might be able to keep it a little longer. As long as I've got armor, I can keep it going a bit longer. But without that, it's very hard to keep going. Especially on this floor. That's a new enemy. Very scary. New enemies are always scary. I'm surprised they're not immune to my fire damage. They are not immune to it at all. Be careful about touching the, f the lava on the floor as well, because that will also break it. 
There are many things that can break this here for us. Also, we are finding these underground secret rooms with alarming regularity, and I'm loving it. But the damage that we take from touching the golden lava does give us gold, though, so that is nice. Also, it does increase the damage of Throne, so something to think about. Can be used in multiple ways here. That helps. That's another piece of armor. That helps a lot. You see? It's going well. Exuberance. And heartiness again, why not? Ara is just being a godsend right now. I'm missing out on a lot of gold, by the way, but it's mainly because I'm trying to really heavily focus on uh, <laughs> making sure that I get all I can out of this obsidian knife. This is the room where we lose it. Mainly because there's arrow shooting things everywhere as well as these snake boys. If we don't get hit by one of these dudes, we're going to get hit by an arrow, surely. Oh, they... Ooh, fucking go away. Just, why are they in the worst positions for me to hit them? God damn you. Hey, secret room. Why not? Actually, do you know, there's a reason why not, because it's not a good idea, because I don't want to spend a key on that. That's the reason why not. Shop. Um, oh, I really should have bought some food just then, shouldn't I? That would have been a very good idea. Grab that. Let's buy some of that now, shall we? Okay. Black Rabbit. Hello. I'm not going to play your game. I do not need to. Cool. Down we go. We still have the knife. Holy hell, people. We still have the knife. It's shocking, I know, but beautiful. Altar and a bottle. Awesome. I know that I am missing gold, by the way. I, I do realize that. I'm just playing very cautiously right now, so... Uh, we'll take galoshes here, because it combines the Helios boots. And I like the Helios boots. Okay. Keep going. I'll take that, because that's pretty good. Uh, we'll take it over this. Okay, these, these enemies... Pretty good at getting rid of our... Um, of our obsidian knife, because they their shots just bounce all over the place. Okay, can you stop giving me these enemies, for God's sake? Okay, good. We're doing okay. The throw damage is helping us a lot. I'm kind of letting the ones over there kind of do their thing while I take care of these ones. We do have two armor now as well, so we have even more protection than we had before. Whew. Right. Oh, we, we lost a piece of armor at some point. I don't know when, but that's fine. We've still got one. I'm guessing it was in the, the room with all these ball shooting boys. Or I stepped on a bit of lava. Either one of the two. That's pretty good too. We're blocking Casey's left, right, and center right now. Yeah, let's stun some of this at some point. It's very easy to walk over that without knowing. Oh my god. It's gone. It's so gone. Please, hand. Please do this for me. Yes. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Boss time. Let's go. 
Main reason I really wanted to keep this is if we can manage to keep it for an okay amount of time, this boss really, really benefits from throw damage. So being able to do a bit of extra damage against him with throw is very nice. Right, one, two, three. Okay, good. Careful for the bouncy, bouncy rocks. Okay, get the hell out of the way before he swerves into me. What? Come on, can we get a no-hit fight? Okay, one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I'm in a bad, bad spot for this. We got him, no hit, yes. The obsidian knife comes in clutch. Whoa, that portal looks so much better than it used to as well. And we got up to 85,000. Nice run. Very nice run indeed. We get our next summoning stone level. And that was that was a good run. That was a good run. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did see some of the new content. Hopefully next episode I'll do some off-camera farming and we should be able to see the um the new uh, floor on the next episode. That'd be really cool. Remember, please do leave some comments below and I'll pick out a name to add into the next episode. And if you need to see any tips and tricks for this game, I will leave my tutorial linked below. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.